yarn friends welcome back to llama mama kayla's yarn tube i'm so excited to be back here with y'all today thank you for stopping by for a visit and checking out the video uh, i haven't made a video in about a week or so we've had um, some things going on in our home jody's brother is staying with us for a while and our dogs go crazy every time he moves they're getting a little bit better each day it's getting a little bit better so um I thought tonight I would try to make some videos <laughs> because when um, he moves or walks to the house or anything, all the dogs just go out barking, 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 and so it's constant barking constantly. And so <laughs> no matter how much you get on to them and try to make them calm down, it just, they don't, they don't seem to care. But I guess they're doing what they're supposed to do and bark when someone that doesn't live here is in the house. So anyway. So I wanted to give y'all a few little quick updates of things that have happened <coughs> since I last recorded and talked. Um, I did have my scope done and um, that didn't go so well. Once they started the scope and got down into my esophagus, my oxygen dropped. So they had to stop the procedure immediately. So they didn't get to do anything. They didn't take biopsies or stretch the esophagus or anything like that. So I'm still dealing with that, and they did send me for a couple more tests this past week, and I think now um, I see my regular doctor back the, again in like October the 7th, and I think uh, the surgeons, when I saw them again for post-op, they were talking about sending me to Shreveport to a doctor there, so I don't know what's going to happen, but um, maybe something will Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? So, um, I think that's all I needed to really update about. So, I wanted to show y'all some finished projects that I have been working on and getting accomplished. I really hadn't accomplished a whole lot, but I do have some things to share. But, um, I did want to share, remember the capelet hat and capelet set that I had made for the nurse at the hospital? I was working on this project, a capelet, and the whole time I was working on it, I was thinking about this nurse at the hospital. And so by the time I got, you know, halfway done with it, I decided that I was going to give that to her. And then I made a hat to match it. So I took it to my appointment, which was on, um, like I finished that over the weekend, on Monday maybe. And then I went to my appointment on Wednesday and so I asked, was she there? And they said, uh, yes, yeah, she's here. And um, come to find out, that Friday, like I was there on Wednesday, that following Friday was going to be her last day there. So it's just amazing that I showed up on Wednesday with this gift for her, and then Friday was her last day. So um, she loved it. She came out in the hallway. And I gave it to her, and she just hugged my neck and hugged my neck like maybe five or six times. And she cried, and which made me cry. <laughs> and so, um, but she loved it, you know. And I just told her, thank you for always being so kind to everyone. Not only to me, but I see her being kind to other people. But um, she really did love the um, set. So other things that I have finished is I... I made that um, granny stitch hat when I did that um, capelet that and made that matching hat and I really liked that hat so I made a couple more um, and this looks really really big but it is like a slouchy-ish type hat so um, I made that one and then I had and this is just um, red heart soft white they didn't have just plain white. They only had the soft white, which the soft white looks white unless you put it next to the white. <laughs> and then I had um, I had in my stash the Red Heart um, Ombre, but and I made this hat. But really, you can't tell that it's really ombre. I wish it had um, started with even the lighter color and went to the darker. So you, you can't really tell. I mean, right here you can tell that it gets a little lighter. But this color does have um, real subtle changes in that ombre. You know, it doesn't just like abruptly change to a different color. And so I do like that about it. But I wish that it had a little bit more color change in this. But I might make another one because I still have um, 
some left on that and I don't know if it'd be enough to make a whole one but I might make try to make another one with that and see if it will color up a little bit different but um so I like that one and then I had some back a couple of summers ago maybe maybe last summer <coughs> Walmart had a lot of red heart clearance to like like a dollar <coughs> some of their um red heart stripes were clearance to like a dollar and I had got this brown one so I love the way that striped up and I, I wish this one had striped up a little bit more than that but anyway but this wasn't stripes this is ombre so of course it's not going to stripe like this so um I, I like the way that striped up I'm not really a brown person um I like color you know some people like browns some people like black or gray and some people like color now in my wardrobe, I have more color. I mean, I wear black pants, but I have color. So I don't know if I even have anything brown in my wardrobe. But I do love the way that, and somebody else will love it as a hat. And um, another project that I have just recently done, and, and all these hats, the pattern is by uh, Little John Yarns on this Granny Stitch hat. So I will link links below of things that I talk about in the description box okay and so um repeat craft of me has an owl scarf because you know kind of big scarves and shawls and things like that are kind of in right now and so she had made this owl scarf but she made it out of like a number five bulky yarn and so and I think for one like her main color, she used like five skeins of it. Well, I didn't have five skeins of that, and I didn't want to buy yarn to do this. So I just picked some yarn I already had, which was a number four yarn. And I made this owl scarf here. Um, it, you know, actually it's two owls. An owl on each end. And I love the way they worked up. Um, I'll tell you the yarns that I used. This is Flamingo Red Heart. Um couple years ago maybe about two years ago Michaels had flamingo clearanced out and so I bought all that they had for like a dollar a skein so I had bought that and I still have some left I'm, I'm running out of it though <laughs> and then this is um, this mint is oh craft smart and then the white is that soft white red heart and the eyes also. And this color right here, you might recognize this from my Ollie's yarn haul. Oh, I don't want to um, it's the Karen Jumbo that I got at Ollie's. And the colorway of that is, um, I don't know really how to say this, Gossamer, G O S S A M E R. But it did work out really pretty. Um, I love that. I like how it worked up. It kind of pulled in different ways. Like sometimes it would pull this way, sometimes it would pull up. So that variation's fine. I like it. And it, the scarf itself is a hundred inches, which is very long. Um, I mean, it's very it's long enough that you can like wrap it around your neck a few times, and it still be long. So, and on the pattern, she did have little pom-pom feet, but I did not add the pom-pom feet because anytime I make pom-poms, and I do have those little pom-pom makers, you can always pull the little twigs of yarn out, and I just don't like that. I've never got it tied tight enough that the twigs of yarn can't be pulled out. And since I don't know what's gonna, where this scarf is going to go or who it's going to go to, I just didn't want to put the pom-poms on there for them to fall apart and then somebody be disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, I went ahead and made a hat to match this um, because I still had a good bit of that yarn. So I just made this hat to go with it. And it pulled up really nice. Now, I didn't make this quite as tall as these, um, the Little John pattern does call for um once you stop increasing it calls for 12 more rows and so on this one i stopped at nine extra rows after the increasing 
and then I had this is what I had left over out of that jumbo Karen jumbo I was looking to see how many yards that was this was 595 yards so it was enough to make the scarf which is 100 inches long and then this hat so I love that set it turned out really nice and cute and I'm working already on another set of purple and blue and a mint center for me and then um, let's see I am that's my finished projects some projects that I've been working on I have told you all about these I'm making a blanket for someone and so I'm making just some solid squares that's and these are all red heart super saver no the reds not the red is mainstay I didn't have red heart in it and this is red heart super saver I kind of stalled on making this because I was searching for a not so bright yellow but all I could find was this bright yellow by Red Heart Super Saver and somebody did mention that I had some yellow here and a yellow up there and they're the same brands but um I didn't want to use that yellow because <laughs> that yellow right here is already for a project and that yellow up there um, might end up in that project also so I didn't want to go with that yellow plus um, I just wanted it on a red heart really so it would be a lot of yarn <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is very bright. It looks it looks even brighter on camera to me than it really is, but it is pretty bright. Okay, so I have the yellow and the red, and then I have this purple, which is Red Heart Orchid. And then I have the blue. And it's not quite that bright in the video. I mean, in real life, the camera's making it look a little brighter. And then I have Red Heart Turqua. So that's the main colors. And together they look fine. The yellow doesn't look too bright when you put it all together. So that's what the five squares that are going to have a black cat on them. And this is not a Halloween blanket. I think I confused some people last time when I said something about a Halloween blanket. What I meant was I was making it in the style of the Halloween blanket. That I had already made because I'm making it with the big blocks in the style of the Halloween blanket. But this is not a Halloween blanket. She does want black cats on it, but not for Halloween. That's just because she has a black cat that she has had for many, many years. And I don't really know how the black cat is going to look with this blanket because the blanket kind of looks rainbow. And I don't know how, I don't know if she's going to like that or not. Um, so I've just kind of hadn't been just gung-ho to finish it because I don't really know if she's going to like it. I don't know how the black cats are going to look on this, but I am working on it to get it all finished. I have this one finished and on the I have to make four of these. So on the other four, I have the white, yellow, and red done on all four of them. So now I'm going to do the purple on all four. and then So I'm working on it like that, doing all four at a time. So that will be that blanket. And another project that I'm working on in the process of making, I finished, I finished the main part of the project, but I've got to um, finish up what it's going to be. <laughs> okay, so you know, Caron has new cakes called the Swirl Cakes. I think they're $9.99 at Michael's, and they have like some, um, I showed on one of my Michael's hauls, the Karen Swirl Cakes, and you can go on their website and look at them. They have lots of different colors, and they all have kind of like some gray or white in them or something like that. So I made this huge granny square. It's made with the Karen Swirl Cakes. That's is one cake, and I used, I believe, um, eight millimeter hook on this. And I'm not sure what that is. Is that an L? I'm not sure. 8 millimeter because we all would know what I'm talking about with 8 millimeter. <laughs> so anyway, I made this and it wasn't quite big enough for what I'm going to do with it. So I've got out my Crafter Secret 
um, the light turquoise one. I don't know the exact colorway of it. And I held two strands together because this is a bulky five. So I held two strands of the um, that turquoisey, light turquoise together and went around it twice with two strands and made two more rows to make it a little bit bigger because I was afraid it wasn't quite big enough. But anyway, this is going to turn into another project and I may record making this. I'm going to attempt to record making what I'm making with this and we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> All right, and the next project that I'm working on, I've been working on this project for a long time. And I have my canvas done. Okay, this blanket was inspired by Jaden Stitches. It was her 2019 calendar blanket. She did the folk art blanket, and so that is what this is inspired by. And so I am making this blanket, and I'll show you my background. So here's the sky. And this, I must say, this did turn out like a lot longer, taller than I really anticipated it turning out. But um, I have a lot of stuff to put on it. So there's one set of grass. And you can see I have this side bigger here and then this side bigger here. And I kind of alternated those going down. And I can't see y'all anymore, so... <laughs> Oh, and so there's another green, and this is when I said I went to Hobby Lobby and um, got some greens because I didn't have green in my stash, and then I used up all the green. This is like almost whole skeins put into this. Oh, just a little bit left over. Because, and the reason why I was saving a little bit is because I needed some for trees and stuff. So, and then here's another set of green and this is and I love this yarn I'll try to tell that in a minute and then I have this green and it goes down to um, a roadway and some grass water and grass so um, okay so the green for the grass is Crafter Secret, and this blue is Craft Smart. Yeah, Craft Smart. And then the brown is Red Heart Super Saver. And then we're back to the green again, which is Craft Smart. And then this colorway here is called Wheat. And it is I Love This Yarn. I do not know the name of this one, but it is I Love This Yarn. And I do not know the name of this one, but it is I Love This Yarn. And this one is I Love This Yarn. And then this blue is Red Heart Blue. Light blue, I think. So that is my canvas. And it is, it's about six foot tall. Wouldn't you say, Dakota? Yeah. It's about six foot tall. I made it the same width as Jada's, but it is very, very tall. I didn't really... Um, think about how tall that was going to be when I was adding all those greens in there. But here's here's my items I've been working on to sew on the blanket. And so I really enjoy this. This is the part that I enjoy of crocheting and creating with yarn. I enjoyed making this canvas. Um, it was just fun watching the greens change. And I kind of went from like um, straight across the bottom to bigger, smaller, and bigger, smaller bigger, smaller, and bigger, smaller. So I kind of made them all kind of go like that. And then um, the fun part of it is just creating fun things to go on it. The part I'm not going to enjoy so much is sewing all the stuff on the blanket. <laughs> but anyway, I had fun making these things. So, And this blanket is inspired by Jaden Stitches, the folk art blanket. I'm making the blanket to look like my friend's farm, the Curry Farm Pumpkin Patch and Christmas Tree Farm. Um, I know y'all have heard me speak of the Currys many times. We um, just love them to death and we really appreciate them. And um, they're just great people in the community. Um, and I just wanted to do something for them. 
and so I just made this blanket for them and it's to represent their farm maybe they can pass it on to grandkids or something so this is Miss Curry's house she actually does have a carport on it but um, I was able to put some little flowers on there uh, the door and her roof and so that's her house and then um, on the other side of the blanket will be the little house that they have allowed us to stay in several times and we very much appreciate that this white is um, a carport door a garage door so I'm not going to put any flowers on this one um, this one I have flowers in the yard in front of it so there's that and then I made um, oh, the barn and I did have a door on here but I didn't quite like it the um, Jada's little stitch door so I'm gonna redo that door but um, I like how the barn roof turned out and everything and a little hay so I'm gonna redo that door just before I stitch it on probably and then um, another building that is on their property between their house and the little house we stay in there's a tall green building that is called the tree shack <laughs> it is just a tall building and it has like a open spot here and it has a window here where people can come and pay for pumpkins or uh, I think they may have honey set up there and in the fall like they open this next weekend they'll have pumpkins all around it just um, what's the pallets of pumpkins and all different sizes all up in here and people can get pumpkins and um, pay for them right there or they can go to the field and pick pumpkins and then um, at Christmas time they put the star up on top of it so I went ahead and included that star and so and I made this little pole because that's the way their tree shack looks and then at Christmas time um, people go out into the fields and pick their trees and they'll um, someone will be there to help them cut it and then they t they tag it with their name and all that and then they have workers that take the trees up to the tree shack on four wheelers and up here in this little awning thing um, at Christmas time they have the tree some they run the tree through to put it in netting and stuff like that so um, that's why it's called the tree shack. It's kind of a pumpkin shack in the fall and a tree shack in the winter. <laughs> they don't ever call it the pumpkin shack. Um, so I've made that. There's a, there's a few more little buildings on the property, but um, I was just trying to hit the highlights of you know things, and I have, I have some stuff tangled up here. But anyway, I did make a red tractor, and I have its wheels. And all that I just gotta sew them on and so on the farm they give hay rides and they have a red tractor and a red trailer of hay so um, that's my trailer with hay and I have the wheels and all that already made they're just um, here everywhere <laughs> they're kind of tangled up everything is and then let's see um, also I'm just gonna dump this out have all kinds of stuff here that I made and that way I can put it over here after I've talked about it try to get some of this situated okay um I've been making trees of all different sizes I hadn't put the wood on them I mean not the wood the trucks I haven't put the trunks on them yet because um, I don't know how tall I want the trunks to be yet but I just been making all kinds of Christmas trees to go out in the Christmas tree field so there will be a Christmas tree field there's tall ones and short ones and mediums I went my Jada's pattern loosely and just made a bunch of different sizes so um, lots of Christmas trees because <laughs> they do have a Christmas tree field and then let's see, I made, um, okay, they have a train ride 
And so I made the little train, and like I said, I have the wheels here. I think I just made gray wheels for these. And then um, the train ride has these little carts that it pulls behind it. And I don't see the white one. They have... Um, They have little carts that pull behind this right here. The white one's here somewhere. Anyway, and actually there's is red, white, and green, the carts that pull. But this blanket has so much green on it, I went ahead and made a blue cart. And so I have the little wheels that go on these already made. And I'll sew them on when I sew them on the blanket. Um, I know there's a white one here. <laughs> So I have the train ride, and then of course I have the um, big sun that will go in the sky, up in the blue. And then um, I might have this mess to untangle here when I get ready. I did make some um, rounder shaped trees to go up closer to the houses. Um, they have a lot of pecan trees. And... Um, these don't look like pecan trees, but we're just going to pretend that they are. They have probably some oak trees too, but I know there's a lot of pecan trees up around the houses. So I just went ahead and made, there's the other train ride cart. But they have, um, they have this track train ride and it has like a, a whole strand of carts, but I only made three. And then, um, and then in the bottom, let's see, I have tons and tons and tons of little fish made to go in the water. And I just have like, um, I started off trying to watch a YouTube video making some fish, but they were just too big. So I ended up just, um, just creating something and calling it a fish and I'm trying to find some of the ones that I just kind of created and I'm calling a fish like this okay I'm just that's kind of fishy shape <laughs> so I'm just calling these fish here's a little white one I have some in different little sizes so that's just gonna be a little white fish um, I have a bunch of them but for some reason I'm not even seeing them right here And then I've made, to go along the grass in the front of the water and behind the water, I've made just a bunch of little, um, little flowers in different colors. Just trying to, um, you know, just make some flowers. And I may just um, do some French knots and stuff like that down there too. Here's a little fish. So you can see it's just kind of fish shape. <laughs> okay, so then I also needed some chickens. And let me just tell you, making small stuff is not my skill. So I had to, um, I just had to keep trying and trying and trying to make little chickens. And of course, anything I made was just coming out really big and I mean, it was just going to be so out of proportion that I wasn't happy with it. I wanted it to look like little chickens. So I finally came up with this. So here's a little white chicken. I think he's a... Um, and then I have a little brown chicken. And I have my tails that I'm going to sew it on with. So there's my little brown chicken. And then I have a little orangish looking chicken. So those are my chickens. I just made three chickens to go on it. And then I have um, a ton of pumpkins. I don't even know how many pumpkins I ended up doing, but um, they have the traditional orange pumpkins, which I would say probably look alike, you know, these two kind of orange pumpkins. And then they also have some white pumpkins 
and they'll have some um, more of a peachy looking pumpkin. So anyway, I made about, I think I might have made about three of each. Maybe not the white one. I might have just only did one white and one peach. But I think I did three bright orange and three of the darker orange. So I have um, lots of little pumpkins to go on there. And then I have lots of sunflowers because they have a sunflower patch too. So I know I got strings everywhere, but you get the gist of it. Um, it's going to have a lot of sunflowers in one of those green sections. So I have about, I think I have about nine or ten, maybe nine sunflowers. Oh, and back down to the water in front of the house there across the front of the blanket there's that water and so I made some little ducks to go on the water and I really like these they turned out cute and perfect so I made them just like the chickens except I changed colors and made a head and did not put wings on them I could add some bluish wings because they're mallards but they're ducks it's easy to tell they're ducks <laughs> okay and they don't have horses on the farm but way, 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 way in the back, they have some donkeys. The donkeys aren't really part of the farm as for people to come and see. But um, they've had the donkeys for a long time. And so, Miss um, Curry's brother lives there with them. And he loves the donkeys. And he goes out and feeds them and all. So, I did make two donkeys. Which is Jada's horses. But I just, um, I'll call them donkeys. <laughs> so, those will be cute on the blanket. And for down in the water, I also made an alligator. And I just made this up. And he's kind of too big, but he is what he is. I'm just going to put him in that water swimming through. And let's see. Um, oh, they have a great Pyrenees dog named Bear. Actually, his name is Bear 2 because they had a great Pyrenees. And they had him for many, many years, and he passed away. So they got another Great Pyrenees dog, and they named him Bear, too, because everybody was going to be calling him Bear anyway. Um, and so I got out some homespun and made this dog. <laughs> I love how he turned out, but that's Bear, too. Um, he's a Great Pyrenees, so he's really shaggy and fluffy and... Um, I think Miss Curry will like that he's on there. So I didn't want to leave off Bear. And on the farm, they also have a corn maze. So I'm not going to make it into a maze, but I did make like a whole bunch of corn stalks. And so I'm going to use my bright yellow and make some little um, yarn make some little twigs or whatever coming up off the top and I might make some like uh, little French knots or something to make it look like a few little corn cobs poking out of the green so I made a bunch of corn stalks in all different sizes so I have a couple of clouds to go up in the sky um, you know the sun will be here and a couple of clouds and let's see what else do I got here I've also made several of the little um, mushrooms from Jada and Stitches. So I'm just going to put them up in the um, tree, Christmas tree farm. Just going to add those up in there. Okay, and then at the very back of the farm, just before it turns to the sky part, I'm going to put these two boxes. And you'll guess what these would possibly be? They're beehives. So I'm going to put these um, right up at the top of that green where it starts the sky. And somehow or some way or another, I want to make some little bitty bees. I don't know. It may just be something I kind of stitch on this. I would like to stitch a few up in the sky or flying around the farm. But um, I'm not sure that I can do that because I, I can't crochet anything that small. And to embroider it on there, it would end up showing on the back. 
and the way those um, double crochets are, I don't know that I could um, embroider anything and have straight lines and make it look any kind of decent. Okay, the other thing that I really, really needed, I don't know what this is. Um, I think that was a attempt to make a duck. <laughs> the other thing that I really, really needed was some goats. And I did find a tutorial online to make goats, but I could not get mine small enough. Mine were coming out like really huge. So I've made something. I still need to make a, a white one. But um, does that even most look like a goat at all? So it's got some little horns and the face. And I'll just kind of make the head uh, like turned a little bit there. So that is my goat that I just kind of came up with. I don't know how much of a goat it looks like, but we're going to call it goat. <laughs> and the other thing I have here in front of me are some... Um, Little mushrooms, flowers, pumpkins, stalks for the mushrooms, and um, along the grass around the water, I just want to put some um, grass, more grass. <laughs> um, well, I don't know, little stems and stems and stuff to put around the flowers around these. So did some of those so anyway I have lots of things I still need to make um, these another donkey and I mean another goat I have two two donkeys already I need to make another goat and then just start sewing all that stuff on which is a lot of stuff to sew on there so I've enjoyed making the stuff to go on it the sewing the stuff on the blanket is not gonna be the fun part for me um I like doing the artsy stuff, but not the tedious, tedious stuff. So anyway, that is what I've been up to. And I think that's about all. <laughs> but I've kept y'all all a long time going through all that and explaining that. So I'll get off here and let you guys get going. Um, I did just get this magazine, Crochet World. Um, I believe it came from Walmart. And I've looked through it, and there's a few projects I'd like to make. So, um, maybe I'll have some projects coming up out of here. I have um, several more projects kind of in the process going on. But, um, you know how it is. You only have so much time in the day. But thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for stopping by for a visit. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.